This is a libertarian's response to Tulsi Gabbard and a few other Democrat presidential candidates who claim that they will be standing up to Big Pharma. Nice intentions. Let me tell you how I take down the power of Big Pharma without having to stand up, without having to posture, without having to use a single political weapon. I have two much better weapons. If we use them, it will work miraculously. Weapon one, the free market. The free market is what allows prices to come down. It forces them down if a company wants to stay in business. Because when a company has a clearly better product at a lower price, even the same product at a much lower price, consumers will flock to them. We've restricted things in terms of what companies can offer through different plans. And even more so, we have removed the consumer, the real buyer, from the decision. It is a gatekeeper insurance company or HMO that makes the decisions. Returning health care to the free market returns price competition. We have it everywhere else. We have price competition in computers. And with it, we get computers for $250 that can do miraculous things. We have price competition in clothing. And the cost of clothing inflation adjusted has gone down over the last 100 years. Why not have price competition in something more important than clothing? It's called health care. Now here's our second ally against big, huge, inordinate profits for drug companies. A lot of them come from the over-reliance on medication. We didn't have that before. But something we did have before, and we've lost a lot of, is reliance on God. God, which used to have a presence, at least in some school teachings, and outside of school in civics, that God doesn't want you altering your chemistry, doesn't want you altering your mind, because God created us with very good chemistries and very beautiful minds. But when you lose a purposefulness, whether that's God-based or just values-based, a purposefulness, if it gets submerged by just, well, we're chemicals, so let's treat us with other chemicals that might do us better. Sure, we turn to more chemicals produced by Big Pharma. When we have a reliance that we rarely need pharmaceuticals, we certainly don't need them as highly as prescribed. By the way, my father was a pharmaceutical scientist, but I'm saying this because even he felt that pharmaceuticals were overprescribed and that our government wasn't a very good check on it. So here come would be government leaders, almost all the Democrats who want to rail against big pharma. Pharma deserves to be big if they're good and in the free market are actually making better stuff for human beings. Don't curtail that. And when they do posture about standing up to Big Pharma, where does it get us? I mean, Barack Obama had a mostly Democrat Congress for half his term. But pharmas have gotten more and more influential, much more rich, more powerful. Pharma allowed the opioid epidemic. Okay? Our posturing Democrats didn't do a thing about it effectively. So the power of a political official is not nearly as powerful as the power that we should resurrect in the free market and belief in a higher purpose for humanity. I'm Mark Stewart.